Now, new at six, more than one in five U.S. adults suffered with depression during these last few years. And a new study shows that that's more than three times higher than before the pandemic. Diagnosis and treatment for depression is usually the same for everyone. You know, we're talking therapy, antidepressants, but research is showing that antidepressants only work for 30 percent of patients. Think about that. Ursula Perry reports that that's why researchers are working on a more personalized approach to help people. For me, it was having no energy, no motivation. Isolation from the pandemic, just one trigger for depression. Others include genetics, lifestyle, lack of sleep or exercise, and poor diet. Neuroscientists are now using smartphones to create a more personalized approach to treating depression. We can get to know more about how a person is going about their daily lives. Participants check in on an app three to four times a day for one month. Through their smartwatch, researchers track sleep patterns, activity levels, diet, and aspects related to stress, such as heart rate, brain activity, and breathing. We would see uh, things like um, and how they slept or consistently or inconsistently determining their depression. And for the very next person, we would see aspects of how active they were. Insight that helps doctors predict what triggers depression for each person and then get to the root of their problem. If I were to observe that a person's um, de uh, depression is determined by their sleep, then in the next phase, what we're going to do is provide that person evidence-based sleep treatment. And another person might get evidence-based physical activity training. Researchers think their findings could have much broader implications than just treating depression, and that anyone who's looking for greater well-being would benefit from having information about their own specific data like this. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.